This morning, Fox 4 is putting the spotlight on a group of women on Pine Island. I love this story. They are helping their community after Hurricane Ian. They've actually been giving back for decades now, and since Ian devastated their homes, they have come out to help so many of their neighbors. Fox 4 Morning News anchor Amy Wegman is live in St. James City this morning to tell us about this special organization. Yeah, these women are truly inspiring. They're really amazing. And if you haven't been out onto Pine Island to St. James City, Matt Lachey, Boquilia, uh, in the past couple of weeks, you might think life's back to normal, but everywhere you look, you can see the devastation that Ian caused. It's noticeable, it's here. There are still piles of debris all along the roadways. I mean, look across the street here. Uh, there are full homes completely gone. It's just sand there. And that's what it looks like road after road after road. So these are the Matt Lachey hookers behind me. And we've got the big jobs that need to be done, but we've got the small jobs as well. This is a group of women. There's about 200 of them with this nonprofit organization, and they have been helping and really kicking it into high gear ever since Hurricane Ian hit. Today, what you see them doing is running these um, magnets, if you will, over the road, picking up nails and screws and metal because so many people are getting flat tires uh, because of, you know, obviously debris laying everywhere after the storm. When I tell you these women are amazing, they have done everything from pay for gas that other organizations brought out to people when the bridge was still broken. They have provided transportation to people who just need to get around the island. They deliver gas to people so they can run their generators. Uh, you name it, they're doing it. They're giving away building supplies. And I just want to bring in the vice madam. Her mm. name is Julia Gaylor. And for someone who, you know, maybe hasn't been to the island, it might feel like life's back to normal, but you guys are still in the trenches. Yeah, I know, um, you know, even coming through Mount Lachey, you're still seeing a lot of debris on the sides of the road. And we are making progress. They are coming through. We've been getting people registered to get their debris picked up through the state. And, you know, this, it works out well because a lot of people are getting flat tires after they pick up the debris, lots of stuff are left behind. Um, but I think it's just really important that people understand that there's a lot of work to be done here. I mean, there's a lot of cleanup to still be done. There is a lot of rebuilding. It's going to take two years probably for a lot of these people to get back to their real, real normal. One of the things that Julia was telling me um, earlier when we were talking is that they need money because people need rebuilding supplies. They need plywood. They need drywall. That stuff's expensive right now. Uh, so what is the biggest thing you could ask for from the community? Um, I think monetary support is the biggest thing for us to be able to help the island. Um, anytime that we have community events, like we're going to have a community cleanup um, on January 28th in Boquilia. So volunteers can come out and help us do that type of thing. Um, and if you're a contractor or a, a skilled tradesman that want to volunteer your time, that is hugely needed. Uh, we have big groups coming down at the end of January with some that are going to help people do some actual rebuilding. But volunteers, skilled volunteers, that would be amazing. So um, earlier, Today, we were able to give the Matt Lachey hookers a gift from our parent company's charitable arm, which is the EW Scripps company, but it's the Scripps Howard Fund. And they have been working to gather donations since Hurricane Ian hit, and we have given out more than $250,000. And today, we were able to give the Matt Lachey hookers $6,500 so they can continue this important work. Yes, and we're just amazing. so grateful for everything you guys do. We are so grateful for you guys making sure that people get the word out and get our message out to them. Well, keep it up. <laughs> and we'll check back with you, I'm sure, over the coming days and oh, weeks. Yeah. And uh, you guys are just amazing. We've got all the information on how you can donate to them, how you can volunteer on our website right now. Just go to fox4now.com. For now, on St. James City, Amy Wegman, Fox 4.